Hello everyone. Thanks for being interested in our paper. I'm Reza and on behalf of all authors from Rutgers University and Samsung Semiconductor, I'm presenting our paper SmartRec. SmartRec is a near storage inference engine for AI-based recommendation system that use Smart SSD. Many online services from social media application to web search engine use deep learning based recommendation system to improve the user's experience. It's not surprising that a large fraction of today's data centers belong to the computation of these recommendation systems. Now let's take a look at the architecture of this AI based recommendation system. I'm using the example of a recommendation system that recommend movies to the users. Like many deep learning models, this recommendation system use fully connected layer or dense layer to extract dense feature from the user's input. For example, this could be the user's age. Beside this dense feature, recommendation system also using categorical or sparse features as well. This sparse feature should be translated to dense feature using tables called embedding tables. These embedding tables can be very large, having millions of rows and hundreds of columns. For a movie example, these embedding tables, for example, could consist of all the movies in the IMDb. While the size of these embedding tables can be very large, for each user, we may only need to access a very few entries in the table. For example, the list of movies a user liked. After accessing the entries in the table, we need to aggregate their features or columns of the table to get the final dense features. Once we have all dense features from both fully connected layers and embedding tables, we combine them and pass them through another series of fully connected layer before we make the final prediction. As you can see in this figure, there are two types of operation in this recommendation system. The blue one or fully connected layers are computation intensive, whereas the operation on embedding tables are memory intensive. Now that we learn about the high level architecture of this recommendation system, let's review the main requirement for this system. This system need to predict the user interest with high accuracy. To achieve this high accuracy, they often deploy large models with large embedding tables. Often the size of this embedding table exceed the size of the main memory in many servers. Therefore, prior work start to use alternative storage options such as SSD to replace the DRAM based system. Another important requirement for this recommendation system is low latency. This system need to respond to the user request in real time. The two proposals to achieve low latency is by doing the computation near the data to minimize the data traffic. Another solution is to use hardware accelerator such as FPGA to improve the performance. This work exploit a smart SSD to provide a near storage solution for this SSD based recommendation system. Our goals is first to improve the energy efficiency by offloading the computation to the FPGA on a smart SSD. We also want to achieve low latency by doing the computation near the storage and minimizing the data traffic. We want to optimize the performance further by minimizing expensive SSD accesses by applying caching technique. Finally, we want to pro provide a scalable design that can perform well for large scale AI system. Now I want to provide some background on a smart SSD. Smart SSD is an SSD with an onboard FPGA. The FPGA brings computation capabilities to the storage device. 
Another important feature of a smart SSD is that it allows the data to be directly transferred between the SSD and the computation unit on the FPGA. This is done with minimum involvement of the host CPU. There are a few opportunities for using these smart SSDs for large scale recommendation system. First of all, with SSD, we can have higher storage capacity compared to most of the uh, DRAM based system. Second, with FPGA, the computation can scale with the storage, which enable our design to scale to larger scale models. Finally, by offloading the computation to a customized hardware on FPGA, we can achieve higher energy efficiency. Despite all these opportunities, there is one major challenge for this SSD-based recommendation system. The challenge is the SSD accesses have higher latency than DRAM accesses, which can impact the execution time of the inference. Besides for the FPGA on a smart SSD to do the computation, the data first need to be uh, brought to the F FPGA external DRAM and then the FPGA can access the data and do the computation. I will show later how we can use this external FPGA DRAM to cache some of the frequently accessed data to address this challenge. Now I want to talk about the SmartRig architecture. The three main aspects of a SmartRig is first, offloading the computation, including fully connected layer and embedding table aggregation operation to the FPGA on a smart SSD. We also want to improve the inference latency by minimizing the expensive SSD accesses using caching techniques. Finally, we want or design to scale to larger scale models by taking advantage of the computational scalability of a smart SSDs. Now let's see how we can offload different computations to the FPGA on a smart SSD. The first type of computation we can offload to the FPGA is the fully connected layer. This fully connected layer can be transformed into a general matrix matrix multiplication or GEM. In our design, we use a systolic array based design for the GEM unit. Another computation that we can offload to the FPGA is the embedding aggregation operations. Let's use the example that we had earlier. In this example, the user liked three movies, which you can see in the figure, and we need to aggregate their features represented by different columns in order to decompute the dense features. For a smart SSD, there are various options to offload the computation to the FPGA. For example, all the layers, including fully connected layer and embedding table aggregation can be offloaded to the FPGA. Alternatively, we can offload the computation partially to the FPGA. For example, here, the bottom layers are offloaded to FPGA and the top layer are performed by the CPU. There are also two options for a storage on a smart SSD. For a smaller size embedding table, we can use the FPGA DRAM to store the embedding tables. For larger embedding table, we can alternatively use the SSD, which has higher storage capacity than the DRAM. Now that we learn about the offloading option on a smart SSD, let's see how we can improve the latency by applying optimization. One important optimization that we can use is to taking advantage of the temporal data locality in accesses to the embedding tables. Many prior work has shown that many embedding table pages are accessed frequently across various inference requests. To understand how we can design a caching technique for a smart SSD, 
you first need to learn how the data is transferred between the SSD and FPGA. To do the data transfer, the CPU need to initiate the data transfer. After the CPU initiated the data transfer, the data is transferred between the SSD to the FPGA DRAM through a peer-to-peer -peer data transfer. Finally, the FPGA read the data from its DRAM, do the computation, and write the result back to the DRAM. As we learned earlier, the SSD accesses are expensive. One way to minimize the SSD accesses is to use the FPGA DRAM to cache some of the frequently accessed data. In order to do that, we divide the FPGA DRAM into two regions. One region belongs to the data which are brought from the SSD to the DRAM through a peer-to-peer -peer data transfer. We use the other region to cache some of the frequently accessed data for future accesses. To manage the cache, we need to store some metadata. As we learned earlier, the CPU need to initiate the data transfer for embedding tables on SSDs. Therefore, we use the CPU for managing the cache and storing the cache metadata. This means that we use a software managed cache system for this smart SSD system. Since we use the CPU to manage the cache, we also need to CPU to send the metadata to the FPGA to guide the FPGA to locate the data in its DRAM by sending metadata for each access. The last aspect of a smart rack is its scalability for large scale models. We can distribute the embedding tables to multiple smart SSD and taking advantage of the computation scalability of a smart SSD. By distributing the embedding tables to multiple smart SSDs, the embedding aggregation operation can be also performed in parallel using FPGA on each of these smart SSDs. To evaluate a smart rig, we use one of the state-of-the-art recommendation system from Facebook called DLRM. We use three different classes of recommendation system, namely RMC1, RMC2, and RMC3, which all have different features such as different number of embedding tables, different embedding table sizes, and different fully connected layer sizes. We built smart rec prototype using Xilinx HLS toolchain. For the baseline, we use DLIM PyTorch implementation running on a 22 cores Skylake machine with more than 700 gigabyte RAM. We run different experiments to evaluate different aspects of a smart rec. One of the experiments we did is to compute the end-to-end -end inference execution time for scenarios where the embedding tables are stored on the DRAM. We use various smart SSD configurations such as using different number of smart SSD and scenarios where the computation are loaded to both FPGA and CPU. As you can see, for smaller batch sizes, the execution time of smart rec outperforms the execution time on the CPU. However, for larger batch sizes, the CPU outperforms smart rec due to having larger memory bandwidths, which helps the CPU for memory intensive operations on embedding tables. We also evaluate the end to end inference execution time when the embedding tables are stored on the SSD. To evaluate our caching technique, we show the execution time for various cache hit rates. Here, 0% means that none of the accesses hit the, in the DRAM, whereas 100% mean that all accesses are hit in the FPGA DRAM. Besides, the figure also shows the target requirement, target latency requirement for this particular model. As you can see, for the smaller batch sizes, the SSD system with a smart rec can meet the target latency. 
However, for large batch sizes, the latency met only when there are enough data localities, as you can see in this figure. We also evaluated the energy efficiency of a smart rig compared to a CPU system. As you can see in this slide, for different configurations, the smart SSD outperforms the CPU up to 10 times in energy efficiency. This is because of doing the computation near the storage which can minimize the data traffic as well as using customized hardware by offloading the computation to the FPGA. To conclude, we exploit various options to deploy a smart SSD for the inference of large-scale AI-based recommendation system. We propose caching optimization to improve the latency by hiding the high latency access, SSD accesses. We show that smart SSD can improve the energy efficiency by up to 10 times compared to a CPU system. Finally, we show that when there is enough data localities, this SSD-based system can still meet the target latency despite expensive SSD accesses. For more evaluation results and more performance characterizations, please check out our paper. Thank you so much.